Air Force guards forced to open fire on speeding driver WHO breached the gate. Tuesday saw multiple rounds fired by Air Force officers at a car speeding through a Texas base's main entrance. At Joint Base San Antonio Camp Bullis on Tuesday, an unidentified driver accelerated toward Air Force guards at a high rate of speed in the wrong direction of traffic. Passing through the access control point and entering the installation for a few minutes before reversing course and leaving through the gate exit, according to a report from Military.com. Security forces pursued the driver and took defensive measures when the suspected gate runner attempted to exit the installation via the inbound lane traveling at an excessive rate of speed. Joint Base San Antonio Camp Bullis spokesperson Angela Casares said of the incident. The driver did not get any injuries from the rounds fired by Air Force soldiers and could not access any of the training locations on the more than 27,000-acre base. The report states that the suspect was involved in another incident and was eventually taken into custody by the San Antonio Police Department approximately nine miles from the facility. As part of Joint Base San Antonio, which also contains Fort Sam Houston, Randolph Air Force Base, and Lackland Air Force Base, Camp Bullis is primarily utilized for training combat personnel from the Army, Air Force, and Marine Corps. At about the same time as the events at Camp Bullis, more gunshots were reported from a neighboring forested area beyond the fence, forcing Fort Sam Houston to seal another gate and put numerous buildings under lockdown. The report states that the gates and buildings opened hours later, however, it is unclear if the two instances were connected. Air Force security forces fired several shots in self-defense when the subject drove toward them, according to a Joint Base San Antonio spokesperson. However, the spokesperson also stated that no injuries to Air Force personnel, the subject, or damage to Air Force property was reported about this incident, and that the incident is still being investigated.